I'm about to go on what might possibly be the toughest cattle drive I've ever been on. Hey! 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 Holy crap. It's a mess, dude. We got some up on the mountain, Kurt. This is a wreck and half. Enough's enough, man. On today's episode of Bronx and Donks, we're on the Arizona Strip. There's a herd of cattle that's been living out here for the last six months. It's time to round them up and bring them home to Utah. In order to do that, we'll have to herd them over 12 miles across the desert. But that's easier said than done because these cows aren't your normal cows. Wow. Wow. They belong to a stock contractor named Zane Danzi, and he uses the cattle as roping stock in rodeos. So basically, they were bred to run fast. And that's exactly what they do. So, if we want to get the job done, we'll have to bring our A game. And I'll tell you what. Here, I'll grab it. Things are about to get wild. Woo -hoo! Good man. Woohoo! I might keep one for the road. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> We're heading out tonight. We should get there pretty dang late, and then tomorrow we'll get after it. So let's do this. Good stuff. First things first. We need to find and round up all of the cattle before we can do anything else. All right, it's the first morning. We're heading out on top of this big hill up here. We're gonna go look for cows up on top and then we'll work our way down to the cedars and see what we can find. They have a big area they can range on, so it takes a long time to gather them all. How's the average cowboy doing today? It's going good. <laughs> Luckily for us, the average cowboy, along with a few other riders, showed up a few days early, and they've already gathered the majority of the herd. But there's still about 30 head missing. Well, we've been out here looking for a few hours now, and we've been seeing a lot of tracks, and they're all heading this direction. So we might just run into something up here. Well, I definitely hear some cows up in this direction. Let's go check it out. That afternoon, we found the missing 30 head, but they were mixed in with the neighbor's cows. So now, we need to separate the two herds. We pushed them all to a pond with a fence around it and started sorting the cattle. The beef cows, they were pretty easy to work with, but the Coriannis on the other hand, they were a little fired up. Oh. This one jumped the fence, so we had to put her in timeout. Hopefully that's good enough. Stand by your work. <laughs> we'll see you in about 20 minutes. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. After sorting the cattle, we brought them to a different corral and reunited them with the rest of the herd. Now that everything is gathered, there's one last job we have to do before we can start the cattle drive home. Uh, oh. Oh, dude, it's
Sheesh. Yeah. He's fishing, man. Fishing. As the sun drooped low in the sky, we finished branding. That's it. Tomorrow, we have a big day ahead of us. We're about to go on one of the most challenging cattle drives I've ever been on. Ready to go today? Ready to go today. Another day, another dollar. Hey, will you give my mountain do a little hit? Electrofy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. You got electrolytes now. <laughs> Your tongue a little tingy now. <laughs> Tastes a little metallic now. <laughs> The first thing we need to do this morning is load the calves in the semi. We have a long walk ahead of us today, and we don't need the calves slowing us down. This is the only semi that can make it down the narrow dirt road to this corral. The rest of the semis will meet us this evening at a different corral located about 12 miles away. After rounding up a few stragglers and grabbing some extra gear, we were about ready to go. Where, Craig, where's the other radio? Nice. Nice throw. Check your mouth. It's in the trailer over there. It's party time. Our first challenge will be the cedars. After we open the gates, the cows will try to run and hide in the trees. So throughout the day, we'll have to spread out alongside the herd to keep them on the road. Here comes the cows. And we're off. We're just gonna hold them up on this fence line, get them slowed up a little bit, let them sniff that semi trailer, let them know their calves are in there, and then uh, we'll open the gate and head them out. It's about 12 miles from here, I think. A few minutes down the trail, we had our first runaway. She refused to join up with the herd, so we have to rope her. Hey. Get out of there. <laughs> She's taking out every tree with her. Almost. She puts her head up, I got her. Oh, you're kidding me. She's a tricky one. What a day. Now that we have her tied up next to the road, we can come back later with the Swift built and load her up. Sorrow gang, baby. Kyle's just out here roping all the beef today.
This is an important pit stop. In the corral, there's a pond, and it'll be the last place the cattle can get a drink until this evening. From this point on, we're splitting up. The majority of us will be staying with the main herd, including Eli, Nate, and myself. Dan, Kirk, and Kyle are the cleanup crew. They're taking the swift built to load up the cow we tied to the tree. They'll also be looking for any stragglers that might have been left behind. To avoid confusion, we'll call these guys Team Swift Built. And spoiler alert, their workload is about to get big. And they said we're in a drought. Dude, my saddle's gonna be soaking wet. Bro, I sure brought my rain slick. Holy crap, dude. Oh, man. It's pouring out there, I'll tell you that. We're taking cover under this tree. It's coming down on us. All the cattle are in the corral right now, so we're just chilling, I guess. I thought it was raining hard. It's raining even harder now. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god! Holy crap! Go, 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 go! The storm passed over us fairly quick, but it did rain long enough for one of the cows to jump out of the corral and run off. So now we have to go find her before we can start the main herd down the road. We got a cow out clear over there. Eli's gonna rope this son of a gun. She's back, she's coming back down. Oh yeah, she's right there. We gotta try to rope her? Let's just jump her. Okay. Nice roping, Eli. Wow. Wow. All right, Eli, I'll get your rope off. Now that we have that handled, it's time to start pushing cows again. All right, we're gonna take the cows, bring them this way, and head up this little canyon right here. Everything seems to be going good here, so let's check in on the Swift Built team. It's been over an hour since they've left us. So far, they've loaded up four cows. One of them was tied up to a tree earlier today off camera, but the other three were just wandering around. We've got three cows right here. Um, we're gonna take them and push them into the pond here. They must have gotten away from somebody at the beginning of the day. Now, they have to load up this cow we tied to a tree. Excuse me, that rope. Yes, you got her? Yep. Here, Daniel, go over there. Put it over. Maybe I will. I don't know if I'm going to take it. I got her. Go on. I like that, shut up. She gave the camera to you. Once again, I didn't film the action. Rainstorm soaked up the dust and cooled the air. The cattle sure appreciated the weather because they were all moving out fast. Well, almost all of them. These two cows are heading in the wrong direction 
If I can't get them turned around, I might have to rope them. They split up, so I have to work fast before one of them gets away. Not my prettiest loop, but it'll do. <laughs> well, that's just gonna have to do for now. Okay, let's go get this other cow. Everybody has to have an alter ego, right? And, and I've been thinking about what my alter ego would be, and I, I, I think I have an alter ego. His name, his name's Mr. 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 Unlimited. See, I'll try to get a shorter hold on my slack, and we'll just sneak up to a tree. Does this tree look sturdy enough? Okay. We left uh, old Dan and Kyle a little present back on a few trees over there. <laughs> the As one, you should. Yeah. The one cow I was in a hurry, so I just tied it up. I had a ton of slack. By the time we went back to tie it back up, or you know tighten the ropes it just wrapped itself around a million trees <laughs> like oh we're just gonna leave it for them <laughs> oh boy i hope they video it when they pick it up <laughs> like, what is this two hours later it was a tree and it was tied but i'm not gonna say it's tied that great We'll just leave those two cows back there for Dan and Kyle and Kirk and you know, they haven't showed up in a long time. I wonder what they've been up to. <laughs> Cow number nine on the day. This is what we got going on so far. We've got three horses in the back. Three cows right here. Two horses in the front. We've been having a wild day. Uh, are you guys as confused as me? First off, where did these horses come from? They said they've loaded up nine cows now. I'm guessing that they unloaded some of them in a corral, but where did they find them? All I know is that these guys are killing it. They were originally only supposed to be gone for like an hour, but it's looking more and more like we won't see them for a long time. Swift built, baby. Okay, so I'd say we're a little bit more than halfway now. So things are going good. They've calmed down a little bit. We had a rope a few, but things are going good. For the next few miles, everything went smooth. But as the evening approached, our good luck was about to run out. And this time, it would be a disaster. 
We are 1.35 miles away. How far? 10 miles. Bruh. <laughs> For whatever reason, the herd decided that this was far enough, and a big group of them kept trying to turn back. Hey! 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 This went on for some time, but we were still making progress in the right direction. Eventually, a few cows slid by somebody, so I volunteered to go get them. Hey! 128, we've been chasing you all day. By now, my horse was exhausted from running around all day, and this black cow took full advantage of that. Hey! 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 Turn around. Turn around. I eventually got her stopped and met up with Eli and Nate who were also chasing her runaway. We tried bringing them back to the herd together, but they hey. kept splitting up. So I brought this cow back by myself. When I got there, all of the other riders and most of the herd was gone. The only reason some of the herd stuck around was because two of the truck drivers got out and stopped them on foot. They went this way, they went that way. I have no idea what happened to everybody else, but this is not good. Nate met up with me almost right away, and we started gathering everything we could find. At this point, none of the other riders have shown up, so they're on their own. Nate and I need to get what's left of the herd to the corral before we lose everything. It's almost dark and the cattle are fighting us every step of the way. Rather than walking on the road, they keep trying to peel off into the cedars. None of the cows are leading out and the only time they step forward is when we're right on top of them. Hey! Hey! Every time I bump hey. one group of cows forward, another group on the other side tries to turn back. It feels like all we're doing is herding them from one side of the road to the other. I don't got time to show you these sheds, but I'll hurry and pick them up. This is a wreck and a half. I found these cows hiding in the trees. There was about 10 of them, and after I gathered them up, our herd number increased, but we're still missing a bunch. Hey! Holy crap. This is a mess, dude. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Enough's enough, man. Think if I shoot, they'll all take off running? Pick one and put a bullet in their head. We're staying the night. We're eating good. Get in. Get in. Meanwhile, the cleanup crew is almost caught up to where we lost half of the herd. Good work, boys. They're slowly finding some of the cows that got away, no, but it. they have no idea that half of the herd is missing. Good. They've loaded up 12 cows today. How many ropes can you put on a cow? <laughs> but they're about to find a lot more than 12. It took us over an hour to walk under a mile, but we made it to the corral right before dark. A few riders have shown up to help us, but we're still missing a bunch of cows. Oh, it'd be nice to have a fresh horse. <laughs> Our horses are overworked and tired, so we can't turn back to look for more cattle until the Swift team shows up with our extra horses. Holy crap, dude. Wild stuff. Hopefully, they're not far behind us. It's been one of those days, hasn't it? Egads. 
By now, the SWIFT team has a pretty good idea that half of the herd is missing. They ran out of room in the stock trailer, so they left it behind and started herding cattle. We got some up on the mountain, Kirk. There's some up going back on top of the mountain. They're going. Head cows, head cows. They eventually ran into a few of the riders that were left behind, and they were almost in the exact spot half of the herd went missing. Hey, what are you looking at? Is there another cow over there? Hey! Oh. Yeah. I was like, there gotta be another cow. They're eyeballing something. Hey! 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 Get turned around! Get turned around! Hey! 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 Well, I think you guys know where this is going. Get out of here! Ready to go again? I'm ready. The semis were scheduled to leave hours ago, but they can't pull away empty. The Swift team made it to the corral with some of the cattle, but they weren't able to recover them all. The cows that managed to escape could be anywhere by now. And there are cows that we roped off camera that are still tied to trees strung out alongside the road. We can't leave until everything is accounted for. So, it's time to clean up this mess. Build swift. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah! We gathered all of the cows we could that night, and it was a pretty good start to fixing the mess. But we still have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. <laughs> I think the average cowboy's a little tired. <laughs> Just another day for your average cowboy, huh? Yeah. Bad average day. Very below average day. <laughs> below average day. Hey. You have 15 seconds to shout out your channel. No, not right now, man. <laughs> right now, man. I'll give that, I'll just give it to someone else. <laughs> it's real good content. Make sure you subscribe to The Average Cowboy. Link in the description below. Well, we got the Swift built all loaded up and we're heading out for the rescue mission this morning. We're missing a few cows, so let's go find them. The first cows we found were on the side of the road and rather than herd them a few miles to the corral, we decided to load them in the swift bill. Nice loop. Nice loop. Oh yeah. She's got a pretty good set of horns on her. Yeah, Woo -hoo -hoo. Here, I'll grab it. Up, go over, over, over. There we go. By now, it feels like we've loaded the majority of the herd on the Swift Built, and it's a dang good thing we brought it. We've been using it like a portable corral, and we've had to utilize every feature on it from the tack room to the half top. If any of you are in the market for a horse or stock trailer, I highly 
highly recommend that you buy a Swift bill. I'll leave their contact and website information in the description below. Brought to you by Swift Bill. Yeah, baby. Drink up, dogs. <laughs> That afternoon, we put on a ton of hard miles looking for the missing cattle. We climbed hills, searched the trees, followed tracks, and crossed fences. And it paid off because we found them. A lot of this trip didn't go our way, but we stuck it through until the end. And despite everything bad that happened, we still managed to have a great time. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Bronx and Donks. <laughs>